Earth's magnetic field is an invisible force that has fascinated scientists, explorers, and dreamers for centuries. It surrounds our planet, stretching from its core out into space, and protects life on Earth from harmful cosmic radiation. But how exactly does it work? What causes this invisible shield, and why is it so vital for life on our planet? The science behind Earth's magnetic field is as fascinating as it is complex, involving the inner workings of our planet, its molten core, and the forces of physics that govern the universe. To understand Earth's magnetic field, we first need to take a journey to the center of our planet, far below the surface where the air is cool and the land is solid. Deep beneath us lies the Earth's core, a hot, dense region made mostly of iron and nickel. The core is divided into two parts, the outer core and the inner core. The inner core is solid, but the outer core is a swirling, molten mass of liquid metal. This movement of liquid metal is key to generating the magnetic field. As the Earth rotates on its axis, the molten iron in the outer core moves and flows, creating electric currents. These currents, in turn, generate a magnetic field, a process known as the geodynamo. The geodynamo is one of the most intriguing aspects of planetary science, and it's responsible for the magnetic field that surrounds our planet. The movement of liquid iron in the outer core is driven by the heat coming from the inner core. This heat causes convection currents, much like the way boiling water moves in a pot. The molten iron rises and falls, and as it does, the rotation, rotation of the earth twists and distorts these currents, creating a sort of dynamo effect. This dynamo effect generates the magnetic field, which extends far beyond the surface of the planet. At the surface of the earth, the magnetic field is relatively weak, but as you move out into space, it becomes stronger and more noticeable. This field is what compasses use to point north, as it aligns with the magnetic poles of the Earth. However, the magnetic poles are not the same as the geographic poles. While the geographic North Pole is a fixed point at the top of the world, the magnetic North Pole is constantly shifting due to changes in the flow of molten iron in the outer core. In fact, over the course of millions of years, the magnetic poles have even flipped entirely, with the North and South magnetic poles swapping places. This phenomenon, known as geomagnetic reversal, has occurred many times throughout Earth's history. Scientists studying ancient volcanic rocks have discovered evidence of these flips, which are recorded in the magnetic minerals that solidify in the rocks as they cool. Each time the magnetic poles reverse, it takes thousands of years for the process to complete. During this time, the magnetic field weakens, which could expose the Earth to more cosmic radiation. While it's not entirely clear how these reversals impact life on Earth, the fact that they have happened repeatedly suggests that the planet and its inhabitants can adapt to the changes. One of the most important roles of the magnetic field is its ability to protect the Earth from solar wind, a stream of charged particles constantly emitted by the sun. Without the magnetic field, these particles would strip away the Earth's atmosphere, leaving the surface exposed to harmful radiation. radiation. The magnetic field acts as a shield, deflecting the solar wind and preventing it from reaching the atmosphere. This is especially important for maintaining the planet's climate and allowing life to thrive. When the solar wind interacts with the Earth's magnetic field, it creates one of the most awe-inspiring natural phenomena, the auroras. In the northern hemisphere, this is known as the aurora borealis, or northern lights, while in the southern hemisphere, it is called the aurora australis, or southern lights. These glowing light displays occur when charged particles from the solar wind collide with gases in the Earth's atmosphere, causing them to emit light. The colors of the auroras, usually green, but sometimes red, purple, or blue, depend on the type of gas being excited by the particles. Oxygen produces green and red light, while nitrogen produces purple and blue hues. The auroras are most visible near the poles because that's where the magnetic field is strongest. The magnetic field lines curve in toward the poles, creating what's known as the magnetosphere. 
This is the region of space around the Earth where the magnetic field dominates. The magnetosphere is shaped like a teardrop, with a long tail extending away from the sun. This tail, called the magnetotail, is where many of the interactions between the solar wind and the magnetic field occur, leading to the creation of the auroras. But the magnetic field does more than just protect us from solar wind and create beautiful light shows. It also plays a crucial role in navigation and technology. Since the invention of the compass, humans have used the magnetic field to determine direction. Compasses work by aligning with the Earth's magnetic field, with the needle, needle pointing toward the magnetic north pole. This simple but effective tool has been essential for exploration and travel, guiding sailors across the oceans and helping explorers find their way through uncharted territory. In modern times, the magnetic field is also important for protecting satellites and other technology in space. Satellites orbiting the Earth are exposed to the solar wind, which can cause electrical malfunctions or even destroy sensitive electronics. The magnetic field helps shield these satellites from the worst of the solar wind, allowing them to function properly. In addition, many communication and navigation systems rely on the magnetic field to operate. For example, GPS systems use information from the magnetic field to help determine location and direction. Despite the many benefits of the magnetic field, there are still many mysteries surrounding it. Scientists are constantly studying the geodynamo and the behavior of the outer core to better understand how the magnetic field is generated and maintained. One of the biggest questions is why the magnetic field sometimes weakens or changes over time. For example, over the past century, the magnetic field has been slowly weakening, and the magnetic north pole has been drifting at an accelerated rate. While these changes are not yet fully understood, they are a reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet. There is also ongoing research into the possibility of other planets having magnetic fields. Earth is not the only planet in the solar system with a magnetic field. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune all have their own magnetic fields, though they are generated in different ways. For example, Jupiter's magnetic field is much stronger than Earth's, and it is generated by the movement movement of metallic hydrogen in its interior. Mars, on the other hand, does not have a global magnetic field, which may explain why its atmosphere is so thin. Without a magnetic field to protect it from the solar wind, much of Mars's atmosphere was likely stripped away over time. Understanding the magnetic fields of other planets can provide important insights into the history and evolution of the solar system. It can also help scientists understand how magnetic fields work on a fundamental level, offering clues about the forces that shape planets and their environments. By studying the magnetic fields of other planets, scientists can also gain a better understanding of the conditions necessary for life to exist. For example, the presence of a magnetic field may be a key factor in determining whether a planet can support life as it helps protect the atmosphere and surface from harmful radiation. The magnetic field is also important for understanding the Earth's past. By studying ancient rocks and sediments, scientists can learn about the history of the Earth's magnetic field and how it has changed over time. For example, some rocks contain magnetic minerals that record the direction of the magnetic field when the rock was formed. By analyzing these minerals, scientists can determine the location of the magnetic poles at different points in Earth's history. This has revealed that the magnetic poles have wandered and flipped many times over the past few billion years. One of the most intriguing aspects of the magnetic field is how it affects life on Earth. Many animals, including birds, turtles, and even certain bacteria, use the magnetic field to navigate. These animals have a sense known as magnetoreception, which allows them to detect the magnetic field and use it to find their way. For example, migratory birds are able to navigate thousands of miles by sensing the Earth's magnetic field, allowing them to travel between their breeding and wintering grounds. Similarly, sea turtles use the magnetic field to return to the same beaches where they were born to lay their eggs. 
The exact mechanism behind magnetoreception is still not fully understood, but it is believed to involve specialized cells in the animal's bodies that contain magnetic materials, such as magnetite. These cells may act like tiny compasses, allowing the animals to detect the direction and strength of the magnetic field. Some researchers have even suggested that humans might have a similar ability, though it is much weaker and not consciously perceived. In addition to its role in navigation, the magnetic field may also have an impact on human health. Some studies have suggested that changes in the magnetic field can influence biological processes, such as sleep patterns and the production of certain hormones. While the evidence for these effects is still limited, it is possible that the magnetic field plays a subtle but important role in regulating the body's internal processes. The study of Earth's magnetic field is a field of science that continues to evolve. As technology advances and our understanding of the planet deepens, scientists are making new discoveries about the magnetic field and its role in shaping the world around us. From the molten iron in the outer core to the auroras in the sky, the magnetic field is a reminder of the powerful forces that govern our planet. It is a force that protects us, guides us, and connects us to the vast, dynamic systems of the Earth and the universe beyond. In the end, the magnetic field is not just a scientific curiosity, it is a fundamental part of what makes life on Earth possible. It is a force that shapes the planet and influences everything from the movement of continents to the behavior of animals. By studying the magnetic field, we can gain a deeper understanding of the Earth and its place in the cosmos, and we can continue to marvel at the invisible forces that make our world so extraordinary.